look at this code, it's very simple. In my main I call a malloc with the very big number and I stock the returned pointer into the variable ptr and i call foo foo is simply a wrapper for a calloc this calloc with a negative integer as an input and i call bar which is simply a wrapper for realloc and then i simply call free at the very end i'm gonna compile this code and launch and as you can see i get as an output many interesting strings basically here is telling me that my malloc has failed in the file m.c at line 16 here you have the actual cause cannot allocate memory simply because this is too big here you get another string for an error occurred at this point basically my calloc failed because i have this minus 100 and you got the gist of it right i get my free as well that is failing because it's trying to free an all pointer in my output i have exactly the location of the failing and the cause but how does it work as you can see here i've not made something like the classic if null equal to pointer do something for example exit or uh, p error something on those lines right nothing like that basically here what i did is that i redefined the actual malloc the actual functions i command click here and i go inside my chad.h file in which i have the redefinition of all the functions as you can see basically what i'm doing here is redefining the actual function malloc with my custom function malloc as you can see i have an upper case to distinguish between the two and my function malloc is taking not only the size of bytes to allocate but also these three macros which are file line and functions basically this is the name of the file in which the malloc is called this is the line and this is the name of the function where the malloc has been called so long story short every time i call my malloc n like here in this case what is really being called is my custom malloc right with the actual usual size t number of bytes to allocate but also with these three macros that are going to be processed by the preprocessor basically this is going to become a const char star it's going to be an integer simply create the prototypes for these functions as you can see this time with all the inputs and then very simply i have to redefine these functions right basically here i have my malloc definition i have the actual malloc the original one that is called and then i check if null equal pointer i'm gonna f print in standard error this string right given as an input file line and function this string error is a special function that is taking as an input error no which basically is a number that is telling the actual error that occurred so let's check briefly in string.h we have this string error that is taking as an input this integer her no and what is this her no well very simply it's a number as you can see here in the header file and the number used by malloc when it fails is this one this means not enough memory right so is the number 12 when my malloc function fails like in this case because we have a very big number it's going to set the global variable erno to 12 and my string error function is going to take this number basically the number 12 and print the actual string which is this one cannot allocate memory so you just saw before that the string is this one and indeed we have error allocating memory with the string returned by erno which is this one at m.c at line 16 which basically is this thanks to these macros file and line and exactly in which function which is the function main as you can see we have a lot of information to very fast find the culprit but so this happens for all the functions calloc malloc uh, realloc and free so this is a thing that i do very often in my code basically i always redefine uh, library functions to my custom functions with additional information then i'm gonna implement all these functions inside um, a specific file like this which i have all these functions and in my regular code i only have a call to malloc and i know behind the scenes i have all the controls that i need i don't need every time to check for null and 
all that jazz that is gonna make the code more cumbersome feel and not elegant in my opinion now of course this doesn't make a lot of sense but i let you imagine when you have a big 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 project with many call to malloc full and whatever function you want having something like that is gonna take you to the actual mistake very very fast right you just command click and you know exactly in which line in which file in which function game changer my friend